In this video I'm going to be installing Laravel Herd on Windows and I'm going to give a brief overview of the features and then set up a test Laravel website. So let's begin. As you can see I'm on um, the Herd website which will be uh, herd.laravel.com and it's recognized that I'm using Windows so I'll just click the uh, download for Windows button and that should start downloading there you go so it's just wait a matter of waiting for it to finish downloading okay that's finished downloading so I'm just going to open up the downloads folder and I'm going to uh, double click on the downloaded uh, setup file to begin installing so the install installation should be pretty simple it's just a matter of just waiting for it to install Okay, that's done. That took around uh, 20 seconds, so if we click finish. Okay, and you can see you heard the heard uh, shortcuts on the desktop, so I'm going to double click. And there's going to be like a setup that runs, so it's going to be configuration. So it tells you here that there needs to be some setup so that um, everything can run. So click the let's get started button to start um, the configuration. Okay, that's done. So PHP, Node and Nginx have been um, installed and set up and it's ready to use. So on this, um, uh, step it's um, requesting to switch to uh, Herd Pro but this um, the setup is for the uh, free version so you've got a skip for link now link that you can click under the button so if you click that and um, I'm going to tick automatically launch Herd and system startup so I want that to do that and also I want her to be minimized so I'll click that tick box as well so now I'm going to open up the herd dashboard, click on that button. And here's herd up and running. So now I'm going to give a brief overview. So you've got the dashboard which shows you the services that are running. So Nginx and PHP are currently running. If we go to general, you've got some settings here. So in terms of default ID, I use a VS Code. So I'm going to switch to that. Ports, you can set up here. Also a directory for the logs. So PHP, you've got some PHP options here. You can also change the PHP version here. Also the same for Node, you can install and switch the uh, Node version here. Expose, you can use Expose to uh, run your websites uh, uh, live on the internet so other people can see. Um, you've got shortcuts this is where you can set up shortcuts for some of the uh, features so these are the pro features so these won't be available so you can um, you've got like redis mysql minio uh, melee search but these are only available with the pro um, but you can also set these up yourself if you wanted to really uh, use herd for free but without uh, with these features as well so you've got a section to um, manage the mail and also some uh, uh, logging for when you want to output some data got a page to uh, upgrade to the pro integration for our forge and there we go so the next thing i'm going to do is set up an example laravel website so you go to the dashboard second and section and click on the uh, open sites and there's no sites available so I'm going to click add sites to add one I'm going to make it a new Laravel project so I'll leave that selected and click the next button so I'm not going to use a starter kit so I'm going to leave that selected click next so for this project I'm going to call it a sample testing frame I'm going to leave as pest and target location I'm going to leave it as the default so I click next I'm just waiting for the going to wait for this project to be created and set up. Okay, that's finally done. That took over um, five minutes, and I think it took long because of the uh, my PC that I'm using is a low spec. 
So even if you feel that it's frozen at the point when it's creating the project, just let it run and let it finish. Okay, so that's done. So I'm going to close this window. You can see the uh, website right here. So you can see the details for the website. So I'm going to click on the URL part to um, open up the uh, Lava app in the web in the uh, web browser, and you can see it running right here. And also you can see the URL address. So it will use the project name dot test. So that's how you can. Um, easily access your uh, Lava Oil websites so and also one other thing I want to show actually if I just minimize this even though um, Herd doesn't provide uh, MySQL it's restricted to the pro version you can actually work with uh, SQLite with the free so if I click on the admin there and then click the open You've got deprecated warnings because I'm using PHP 8.4, but then if I log in, you can access the my, uh, SQLite database. So yeah, you've got a, a database row there. So yes, so you can still work with um, SQLite even though uh, my SQL is restricted to the Herd Pro. So you can still use a uh, admin to sort of manage your database that way. So that's been um, Lava Oil Herd. If I just go back. So that's been Lava Oil Herd. I hope this uh, video has been helpful to you. Leave a comment below if you have any queries or any issues. And thanks for watching.